You know, at first they were just for doctors and nurses, but now the CDC is recommending we all cover up and wear face masks in public, especially as states slowly start to reopen. Wearing masks, an adjustment for everybody, right? But especially for kids. Our Christina Laurie is joining us this morning with ways to help your family adapt. Hi, Christina. Hi, Chris and Leah. The CDC is now recommending all kids above the age of two wear face masks when they're outside. Some places like grocery stores and theme parks are requiring them, but the younger the child is, the harder it can be to get them to not only wear a mask, but to actually keep it on. There are a number of ways parents can help their kids feel more comfortable around masks. Pediatricians recommend making them the norm at home. Leave face masks around your house so kids see them frequently. Encourage your kids to practice taking them on and off and even wear them inside your home. Face masks can look a little bit scary, especially if you're small, so maybe using them while playing will make them seem less daunting. Some pediatricians recommend playing doctor with your kids, having them wear a mask while they look after you or their favorite stuffed animals. Kids also like to take ownership of things, so if you have a supply of single-use masks at home, let them draw on them and show off their designs the next time they're out in public. If you still need to buy masks for your family, more and more companies are selling ones specifically geared for them. I'll talk about where you can find the best deals right now ahead in our next half hour. And Chris, I know you're at home with three little girls. Have you run into any of these problems with them? Yeah, they have a really hard time keeping the masks on or even wanting to wear them uh, at all. But yesterday, though, my wife took the one-year-old out, and the one-year-old actually kept the mask on for a while. Ooh. We were both amazed because as soon as we try to put it on, most of the time she tries to rip the thing off. So we'll have to try some of those ideas, Christina.